Now it's time for Jazz Club, introduced this week by George Melly. Good evening. Jazz Club, and not a banjo in sight. Of course, it's been a hard winter. <laughs> well, now it's over to our other group, and that too is another noise. It's part of the burgeoning rhythm and blues scene, and it's led by a one-time modern alto player who, despite what those of you who read... Uh, Benny Green in the Radio Times might think, now spends most of his working hours behind the Hammond organ. Here, playing a number called Bluesology, is the Graham Bond Quartet. With Graham Bond are John McLaughlin on guitar and Jack Bruce on double bass and Ginger Baker on drums. Graham himself, although his hands and feet are fully occupied at the organ, believes that Satan finds mischief for idle mouths to do, and with this in mind, he's going to sing too. The song, <laughs> going to move to the outskirts of town. Ah! 
It'll be an unpopular move, judging by the applause. Well, now a guest singer, Graham Bond, accompanies on Hello, Little Girl, that inventive and dynamic associate of the Dankworth organization, ladies and gentlemen, Bobby Breen. expression the Spanish tinge to define a particular feeling in jazz music. Graham Bond provides a practical example with his own composition, Spanish Blues.
Monday on the jazz scene, George Webb will be talking to ya, as they say, and Tubby Hayes will be talking about Charlie Parker. More music now, and it's the Graham Bond Quartet braving the English spring with a wade in the water.
in the water with Ginger Baker on drums to the fore. Well, now it's time to reintroduce Bobby Breen. Ladies and gentlemen, Bobby Breen. Uh, before Bobby actually sings, I'd like to ask him what he has felt about currently his tour with the Dankworth Band uh, as the second item on the tour with the Jerry Mulligan Quartet. Incidentally, we hope to have some of them here, but either they're heavily disguised as members of the audience or are viewing famous British beauty spots like the Tower of London, uh, Stratford on Avon, or Aldermaston. <laughs> However, uh, Bobby, how are you enjoying this tour? Oh, it's been a wonderful tour, just wonderful. I think uh, we should, you know, we want more people to go to the concerts and dig all the jazz happenings. And uh, we, I hope that we'll uh, get more people, you know, on the whole concert with us and have a ball. Robert Breen, what are you going to sing now? Well, I'd like to do a little tune. It's called Hallelujah, I Love Her So. About a girl I know She's my baby and she live next door Every morning before the sun comes up She brings my coffee in my big red cup But I know, yes I know Hallelujah, I just love her so When I'm in trouble and I have no friends I know she'll go with me until the end Everybody asks me how I know I smile and tell them she told me so But I know, Lord I know Hallelujah, I just love her so If I call her on the telephone Tell her that her baby's all alone By the time I come from one to four I hear her on my door I just love her so Tell her that her baby's all alone By the time I come from one to four I hear her on my door In the evening when the sun goes down When there is nobody else around She kisses me, she holds me tight Tells me, baby, everything's all right But I know, yes, I know I just love her so Hallelujah, I just love her so Hallelujah Love her so
Harvey Breen and Hallelujah. And now, still at the organ, although incidentally he does still play alto, uh, and shouting the truth until it's time for the news summary, Graham Bond and Every Day.
sometimes I get a little worried But I'm gonna tell you that it's all right now, baby I said it's all right Because I got a woman way across town What's she good to me? Oh, yeah Hey, I got a woman way across town What's she good to me? Oh, yeah Well, she's my baby I want you to understand Oh, that I love her like no one can Yeah, I got a woman now, baby Way across town What's she good to me? Oh, yeah But she's in London Early in the morning Would you move me? Oh, oh, oh yeah Oh, she's in London Early in the morning Would you move me? Oh, yeah Oh, she's my baby I want you to understand Oh, that I love her Like no one can Yeah, I got a woman now, baby
Network 3, and it's time for Jazz Session, introduced by Steve Race. Good evening. When people with narrow tastes complain about modern jazz, and particularly about experimental modern jazz, they tend to forget that its roots lie firmly in the older forms. If they can't hear the connection, that's a fault in their listening, not in the music itself. For a session of modern jazz that knows its ancestry, then, we present the Don Rendell Quintet. Don Rendell. Born Plymouth, 1926, started on piano, switched to alto sax at the age of 16, pillar of the Johnny Dankworth Seven from 1950 to 53, with Ted Heath, 1955, toured the continent with Stan Kenton in 1956. Since then, a small group leader of increasing scope and breadth of musical vision. Though his admiration for Lester Young is as undimmed as when he first heard that epoch-making shoeshine swing back in the 1930s. Quite a life story. And still, he says, in the words of Cannonball Adderley, things are getting better.
Things Are Getting Better by the Don Rendell Quintet. That's Don Rendell on tenor with Graham Bond, alto, Johnny Birch on piano, Tony Archer on bass, who incidentally is that great rarity in bass circles, a southpaw player. He stands on the left of his instrument and the bass stands on the right of him. The group is completed by drummer Ted Pope, who sits behind his drums in the conventional way. There's a Graham Bond composition coming up next, which sets me certain problems title-wise. Let's just say that it's dedicated to two ladies who live in a famous street, not very far from a pub called The Rover's Return. This features Graham himself on alto sax. His portrait of Elsie and Ina. It was Don Rendell's own idea that his guest soloist for this session should be a fellow tenor player, and his nomination was a man with strikingly original ideas and a compulsive tone, Dick Hextor Smith by name. Their styles are totally dissimilar anyway, but as a final way of avoiding confusion, Don changes to soprano sax when Dick is around. In effect, a soprano is a kind of alto sax shortened with the kinks taken out. In Don's hands, it takes on the penetrating quality almost of an oboe. The tune, written by Don, is dedicated to a recent jazz festival, which, to the bitter disappointment of the curbside press, ran successfully as planned, without any rioting or oobledizing. Dick Hextall Smith and the Don Rindle Quintet play Richmond Festival. <laughs>
Dizzy Gillespie was over here the first time some years ago. Well, no, not the first time. That was in 1937. I mean the first time since he became Diz. I interviewed him for the BBC. It was a memorable event for me in every sense. Not least because, although the time was nearly two o'clock, Diz hadn't had breakfast. All through the interview, he was cracking raw eggs into black coffee and drinking the resulting brew. Another reason for remembering the interview was that Dizzy spent most of the time talking about his pianist and very little of it talking about himself. The pianist was Winton Kelly, and Dizzy was full of praise for him as a composer, as well as for Kelly the pianist. So here is a Winton Kelly theme, the title, Kelly Blue. Thank you. 
Jazz session today features the Don Rendell Quintet with guest artist Dick Hextall Smith. We now feature Johnny Birch, the pianist, as composer. First theme by him, Troika. time for a ballad, another original by Johnny Birch. He calls it Kazif, K-A-Z-W-E-F. I've tried it backwards and it doesn't mean anything that way either. Titles are usually meaningless in modern jazz circles in any case, so why be different? But the theme is different enough, as you shall hear. <laughs> Thank you. 
Kazif, with Don Rendell's thoughtful but always striking tenor. Dick Hextall Smith rejoins the quintet at this point for one of Don's compositions, Persian Party. Incidentally, I hope you're enjoying, as I am, the Jimmy Cobb inspired drumming of Ted Pope. Somebody once said that any jazz group is as good as its drummer, and this is a good group. But you know what all good things do? Yes, they come to an end. Persian Party closes tonight's programme by Don Rendell's Quintet with Dick Hextall Smith as guest soloist. Altogether, another good sign for the confident future of British jazz. Good night. Thank you.